As Halloween approaches and the leaves are dropping and changing and the temperatures are getting cooler, it's time that we start focusing in on things that are maybe a little Halloween themed. So this week I'm going to try to post a video every single day leading up to Halloween uh, about some kind of creepy crawly. I'll probably keep it mostly spider themed. And I would like to say that I resent a little bit the term creepy crawly because they're not really creepy. They do crawl. I can't defend them there. Uh, but the critters we're going to be looking at, especially spiders, aren't creepy. They're actually really cool and I hope that you can get a better appreciation for them this week. Let's see what we can find. A dry stream bed may seem inhospitable, but when the surrounding forest is even drier, the small amount of moisture under the rocks and between the leaves may be a last refuge for many small animals. Pieces of wood hold on to that moisture better than the rock, so it's no surprise to find small animals like spiders hiding out in the cracks and crevices of logs like this one. Fishing spiders are among the largest spiders in North America, but they start out small. These juvenile fishing spiders are sheltering among the rocks not only for the moisture that's here, but also for the potential prey. This strange looking creature is called a bristletail, and it's a very primitive kind of insect, and it also might make a really good snack for a hungry fishing spider. Amphibians, like this red-backed salamander, also seek out moisture under the rocks of this stream bed. I take care to put the rock back just as I found it to preserve that precious moisture, and give the salamander a little nudge so that it can find its way back home. Winter is quickly approaching, but with the cooler temperatures, we'll also see the return of water, something many animals here are surely looking forward to.